Greetings to all psychopaths, watch enthusiasts, and horology connoisseurs. Today is going to be a review of a new Seiko timepiece that I acquired recently, about a week ago. And the reason I am doing this review after a week is because I wanted to uh, wear the watch for around a week to get, uh, you know, uh, the first impression. So this is the Seiko SBDB021. Uh, this is the Japanese reference number. Now the international reference code is SNR031. So this is uh, from the LX uh, series and it is uh, the top Seiko dive watch you can buy today. Now as you can see this is all in black, black color, which is a hardened titanium material. Okay. It is a 300 meters of water resistance and it features the spring drive movement. Now, the movement on this one is the 5R65, which essentially is the same movement as the one used on the Grand Seiko, which is the 9R65. It is exactly the same movement, same number of jewels, same accuracy within plus minus one seconds per day. Now, this uh, specific uh, watch has gained one and a half seconds in six days. Now, this is not the original uh, rubber strap that comes with. This is an OEM Z22. The original is this one, which has got uh, fitted end links, so it can be, so it can fit exactly on the case of the watch, so this cannot be seen. But I wanted to uh, keep it in the box. Okay, so first things first, let's check out the bezel. Bezel action is, of course, 120 clicks. It has a very nice action and feedback, and you can feel every click. There is zero backplay. And everything lines up perfectly. Okay, so it is a 60, 60 minute uh, bezel insert, ceramic, made out of ceramic. Now, let's take the dimensions out of the way. So, let's check the weight first, which, which is 111 grams. By the way, it is exactly the same with the stock pound. Now, the dimensions according to my caliper, let me just zoom out, okay, so let's zero the calipers, 
So the diameter of the watch is 44.88 millimeters according to my calipers. Lock to lock is is come on 50 as you can see okay 50 and the thickness is 15.95 millimeters so it's rather a thick watch but it wears very very comfortably it's much more comfortable than the marine master I will do a separate comparison video later on in order to show the differences between the two watches <clears throat> so as you can see it is the same banana shape case like the mm300 and also the sumo it has got a screw down case back and this one is suitable for saturation diving the hands are exactly the same like the marine master and this one has got two complications it has got a date window at three o'clock as well as a power reserve indicator between seven and eight o'clock uh, the power reserve is 72 hours as you can see now the power reserve meter is very subtle so it will not obstruct uh, your uh, view by the way this is a very beefy crown very easy to operate it is eight millimeters in diameter and let's listen to the spring drive movement as we wind it and as you can see now it has the full 72 hours now when you screw it back in it is very easy I mean there is no there is no way you will cross the threads it just uh, threads in perfectly now let me give you a reshot <clears throat> And after I'll do a boom shot as well. So this is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist, and as you can see, it sits perfectly. Also, the weight distribution is perfect, so there is no <clears throat> there is no flopping around when you twist your wrist like you have with the MM300 so I will try to give you some <clears throat> some macro here if my camera focus so as you can see the level of finishing on the hands is very is of very high quality
And now it's time for room shot. So this is uh, <clears throat> uh, the the Lumi Bright is uh, Marine Master. Uh, level. <laughs> 